Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got another home bargains haul for you. Boy did I have fun in there today, they had loads of new things that I'd found. So the first thing that I purchased was this amazing bottle of gin liqueur. It says Mystical Unicorn and it's got candy floss and marshmallow in it. I just could not resist. This bad boy just looks amazing. <laughs> I thought it was great. And I don't know if you can see like whether the camera's picking it up. Can you see how it's like iridescent inside of it? I just thought that was amazing. So I've never tried this before. So $7.99 um, a bottle. Let me know in the comments if you've tried it and what you thought of it. So really excited to try that. I couldn't resist picking that one up. And then I picked up some Golden Wonder Crisps. Does anybody know anywhere else other than Home Bargains that sells Golden Wonder? Because that's the only place I've found that does them. And I'm just curious, so let me know if you know of anywhere else. So I picked up some cheese and onion for my mum and some of these sweet chilli Ringos that I've not tried before and a repeat buy of the prawn cocktail. Sorry for rattling. And then I picked up my mum some of these licorice mini all sorts. And I got a packet of these McVitie's digestives. I don't know if these are new. I've not seen them before and I've not had them. So it's vanilla cheesecake. So I thought they'd be really tasty. So I'm going to give them a go. And then I picked up some jars of sauce. I think these were 80p each. I'm not too sure of the prices of things so give me a shout if there's anything that you want a price for and I can check my receipt for you. Um, so this is the Home Pride Pasta Bake Creamy Tomato and Herb and I've not had this before so I thought I'd pick some up and give it a try see what that's like. So I've got those and then I picked up some of this Golden Fry um, it's like the granules and it's chip shop curry so I don't know what that's like give it a try because sometimes you just want something quick and easy so I'll give that a go I did pick up a gravy one as well from Poundland to try so give them a whirl see what they like and then I was really impressed with this the Uncle Ben's chilli sauce this is the giant family size jar um, and they were on offer for a pound pound each so I thought it was really good and for the big family jars so grabbed a couple of those while I saw them and then picked up this in the stationery section so it's an A4 size pencil case it's kind of see-through with the stripes on it but I just thought I won't be using it as a pencil case you know what I'm like so I'm going to be using it sort of as a travel pouch or something like that so I just thought it was really nice one so I got that and then I picked up this pack of the handy wipes so you get four little packs of them I just thought it would be handy really for my bag or in the car and things like that so I grabbed those and then I picked up one of these Carex bubblegum hand gels. You know what I'm like at the moment for sort of love hearts and bubblegum scented things. So I'm all over that. Give that a go. <laughs> and then I picked up a new headband for when I'm doing makeup and stuff. So I thought that was quite a cute little frilly one that. That was nice. And then I picked up a couple of little candles. These were 59p each, I think. And I've had the cheesecake one before in the giant big jar thing. Um, and it smells really amazing. And then I also got the mango coconut cooler, which smells quite nice, really. It's, it's not an in-your-face strong one, but it smells nice and summery. And the Caribbean crush, so I thought they were nice. But that one is my favourite, the strawberry cheesecake. If you've not tried that, get one. You won't regret it. It's amazing. Really, really nice. And then I picked up a couple of baking items because I'm going to be doing some cupcakes and um, 
like a summery theme so I picked up the I did get something similar in Poundland but then I saw these in Home Bargains as well so I grabbed these so it's the edible flowers and the like little pink daisies so I thought they'd be cute for on the top of the cupcakes and then this edible glitter that's in white just to give them a bit of a sparkle everything's better with sparkle and then I grabbed a packet of this Jane Asher, they had a whole range of, of Jane Asher items in Home Bargains, lots of good stuff really, um, but I picked up a packet of this pizza base mix, never actually sort of made my own pizza bases or tried doing it even from like a packet or something, so I thought I'll try it this way first, see how it goes and then eventually might get adventurous trying my own sort of mix, but I thought I'd give that a try, see what we end up with. <laughs> And then cleaning wise, I picked up a duster cloth, the minky one, in pink, and the antibacterial cleaning pad as well. So I managed to get hold of those. And then this is a repeat by the Aquafresh mouthwash that we like. So I grabbed those while we were, two of those while we were in there. And then this Dettol spray and a I don't know if this is a new one or not I've not had it before anyway um, so it's a lemon breeze one so pick that up and then these things I'm very excited about um, I can't resist getting these I thought when we have a barbecue we can just make it a bit more fun and summery and things so I picked up these little burger boxes and these hot dog boxes or trays the burgers in and sausages and then to go with them oh I love these I just thought these were so adorable I've been eyeing them up for a while and I did see some in Poundland but they're slightly smaller in there so I ended up going for these I think these were $1.99 in Home Bargains but as I said they're a little bit bigger than the Poundland ones but Poundland did have a couple of different colours and I think the range had some as well actually um so pick those up as well to serve our chips in with our barbecue food and then I just got some of the pack of the grease proof paper sheets as well to go inside of that and then I also picked up these marinade um, sachets so this is a Chinese flavoured one and um, a barbecue one and it says that you can marinate in 10 minutes so I think these are two for a pound so you just cover the meat and leave it for 10 minutes and then cook it so it speeds things up a bit so I thought I'd give them a try they did have a lot of different ones of those in case you're interested in other flavours and then I could not resist this little guy or girl is it a guy or a girl? <laughs> um, it's a little ladybug for in the garden so it's like on one of them sticks um i just thought this was really really cute so picked up that for in the garden and then you know i'm like if you watched my um haul from the range recently you will have all seen trevor the turtle now we have freddy the frog <laughs> Really cute. He's so tiny. I'm, I think he's going to go in the front garden though. He's a solar powered one. So I think he's got a little thing at the back and his eyes are lighting up. I just thought he was too amazing to not take off the shelf and he was the only one left as well. So I can't leave him sat there. Uh, he was 2 99 so just in love with him. So picked him up. And then as well to go in the garden. I thought these were really adorable. So the 12 fiber optic butterfly string lights, but the solar powered ones. So I'm going to stick these in, I've got like a little mini conifer, like it's only a little tiny small one in the front garden, but I just thought they'd look so cute little on the summer nights in that. So just wanted something for in the front garden as well. So I thought they'd be really, really nice. Oh, destroying the place and then I also found these um, 10 balloon string lights 
that again are solar powered ones and I just thought these were adorable I just thought they were really really pretty and nice to I'm not sure whether I'll be putting them in the front or the back garden but I thought they were nice so even if you've got sort of birthday parties and things as well they'd look cute sort of hung around for those outside but both those were um, 4 99 each so they did have quite a selection of them actually so I thought that was really good they had quite a lot of summer items in so yeah so right that was everything so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here please subscribe and I'll put a link up now to a playlist featuring my previous home bargains hauls and Poundland things like that in case you're interested in watching any of those as well so until next time take care and keep smiling thanks for watching bye